Bambori Cement has lowered its carbon emissions by 3.2% while achieving a 5.5% increase in the use of alternative fuel in its operations. This is data from its sustainability report that details its green growth trajectory that aims to decarbonize its operations with a target of net zero carbon emissions by the year 2050. The report, which details its impact on environmental, social and governance practices in 2022, outlines the work done in replacing fossil fuels with the alternative fuels, the use of alternative raw materials to substitute clinker, as well as optimizing the cement manufacturing process by using renewable energy. Bamburi has embraced five core sustainability pillars, which include climate and energy, circular economy, people and human rights, nature, sustainable procurement, proc customer product, and innovation and governance. We have achieved a lot and uh, we take pride in setting ourselves uh, really ambitious targets for uh, 2027, ambition 2030, and of course our goal to be net zero by 2050. Uh, we are fully committed and there's a lot of effort that the team is doing in terms of what we're doing in terms of our operations, moving to alternative fuels, alternative raw materials. Uh, in the supply chain, uh, we are moving to uh, e-trucks, e-mobility, uh, uh, low CO2 emitting uh, 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 transport options. Uh, we are setting up one of the biggest uh, uh, solar power plants, so we move to cleaner energy. So we have four cements that normally have low CO2 emissions. That is uh, our Guvo product. We have Fundi, we have Tembo, as well as Duracell, which is manufactured using industrial slug. We are going to increase this portfolio, and by 2025, we are committing to be 100% on uh, green cements. 